Hello and welcome to all the viewers of Good News TV. I welcome you to another episode of Prayer Time. We want to tell you that if you have any prayer requests, you can call us on the number that is being shown on the screen or you can download our Good News TV app and write your prayer requests in the comment box or in the YouTube you can share your prayer requests in the comment box too. Our prayer partners will be praying for you. And if you get answers to your prayers, do not forget to let us know so that we too can rejoice and glorify the Lord along with you. So going into the word, for the past two episodes, we have been seeing about who Jesus is. We were seeing that he is the promised Messiah. We saw that he is the son of God. Also, last time we saw that he is the son of man. That was the name which he often, often rest, uh, he spoke about himself or that was the term that he used for himself the most. And it showed that in Jesus, there was perfect divinity and perfect humanity. He was completely God and he was completely human. So this is what we saw last time. Today, I would like to continue on that topic and go on to know more about who is Jesus. And today, I'm going to share with you the seven I am statements of Jesus. Jesus called himself. He said, I am the bread of life. He said, I am the good shepherd. I am the light of the world and so on. He made seven statements which have a great impact on us and helps us to know who he really is. So before we go further, let us look to the Lord in prayer. Loving Father, we come into your presence, O God. Your word is powerful, O God. Your word is mighty, Lord Jesus. And Lord, it is a light to our path, O God. Lord, it is when we hide it, hide it in our hearts, O God, it helps us keep safe and overcome every schemes of the enemy. Lord, reveal your word. Reveal yourself through this word today. Surrender ourselves into your hands. In Jesus' matchless name we pray. Amen and Amen. So as I said, Jesus made seven I am statements. Jesus said that I am the bread of life. He said that I am the light of the world. He said I am the door or the door for the sheep or the gate. He went on to say I am the good shepherd. The fifth thing that he said was I am the resurrection and the life. The sixth I am statement that he made was I am the way, the truth and the life. And finally he said I am the good wine. I am the true wine. These seven statements we see Jesus using the term I am. And it was this name that God used for himself when he revealed himself to Moses through the burning bush. If we see Exodus chapter 3 verses 14, 15 and 13, 14 and 15, it is when God comes before Moses and Moses sees the burning bush and hears the voice and God says that I want you to go and bring out the people of Israel from slavery. Moses is not totally prepared for it and it is there that he asks. I will read out Exodus chapter 3 verse 13 where Moses says to God, Moses said to God, suppose I go to the Israelites and say to them, the God of your fathers has sent me to you. And they ask me, what is his name? Then what shall I tell them? God said to Moses, I am who I am. This is what you are to say to the Israelites. I am has sent me to you. So when Jesus was making these statements of I am, the Jewish leaders, the Israelites, 
could relate that he was talking about himself as God. He was proving to them that he was the son of God. And as we read in John, the book of John, John wrote to tell the people that Jesus was the son of God. He starts in the chapter one by saying that it, the, it, the, in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. He depicts Jesus as the word who came down from heaven and dwelt among men. And he, then he goes on to prove that Jesus was the son of God. And that's when he very clearly pens down all the seven statements which Jesus said about himself. The testimony he gave about himself, how he was the I am. And here, if we see the Greek word used for I am, actually in Greek, there are two words that are used for I am. Two verbs that can be used. One is ego. And the third, it is from this word, actually the English word ego comes. And the second word is emi. And when Jesus is talking about himself, he is using these two verbs. Actually, if we see when God tells Moses, I am that I am, he is using both ego and emi. And over here, when Jesus is speaking to the Israelites, when Jesus is talking about himself, saying, I am the bread of life or I am the light of the world, he is saying, ego, emi, I I am the word or I am the bread. So he is using both the words or both the verbs for I am. And he is clearly saying that I am the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. He is revealing himself as the son of God. And therefore now we will go and I would like to share with you the different statements the first statement that Jesus made about himself, the I am statement is, I am the bread of life. This we see in Job chapter 6. And if we see from the beginning, actually this chapter begins where uh, Jesus actually fed the 5,000 men with five loaves and two fishes. We all know the story. And then once after that mighty miracle that he had done, the next day, what happens? The people come searching for him. And Jesus makes a statement to them. He says, it is not because of the miraculous signs that you have seen that you are come and uh, you have you're come here and are searching for me, but you are coming to me because you have got food and you ate to your full. And the people were not just satisfied with the food they thought they would get something more and it was actually true they were looking for more food free food probably and in spite of the miracle that he had done the previous day people come and ask what is the sign give us more sign that you are the son of God and that is when Jesus says so they asked what sign then will you give that we may see and believe you what will you do? Our ancestors ate the manna in the wilderness. As it is written, he gave them bread from heaven to eat. And when they say this, Jesus tells them, Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, it is not Moses who has given them bread from heaven, but it is my father who gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is the bread that comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. When Jesus makes this statement, people here say, Sir, they said, always give us this bread. So they were wanting that bread, that eternal bread, or that would never make them hungry again. And they said, give us this bread. And it is here when Jesus reveals himself. He says, then Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. But as I told you, you have seen me and still you do not believe. And there he goes on to tell them a few more things. 
But here, I just want to concentrate on this statement where Jesus says, I am the bread of life. What did he mean by saying, I am the bread of life? Well, what does bread do? We all know we eat food to be healthy. We need food to live a long life. If we continuously don't eat food for a very long time, we will die. And actually, as physical food or the food that we see gives us physical strength or physical life, this Jesus said, I am the bread. I am that spiritual bread that when you eat, you will have eternal life. And that's when he says, whoever comes to me will never go hungry. And the thing is, Jesus goes on to explain this. He continues. He says the statement is given four times in this chapter of John. I am the bread of life. It's three times Jesus is speaking himself. And once the people are saying that they got offended. It is written that they got offended that he said, I am the bread of life. And we see, first we saw in John 6 35 the second time Jesus says this is in John 6 41 over here it says at this the Jews here the Jews are grumbling at this the Jews began to grumble and about him because he said I am the bread of life that came down from heaven and they started saying is this not Jesus the son of Joseph and Mary aren't his brothers and sisters living with us then how can he claim himself to be from heaven so they became indignant. However, Jesus continues and talks to them. And 47, very truly, I, verse 47 says, Very truly, I tell you, the one who believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. He goes on to say, Your ancestors ate the manna in the desert. However, they die. But verse 51 says, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. This bread is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. Over here, Jesus is actually just declaring that he would sacrifice himself. He would die on the cross. He would break his body for the salvation of mankind. But people could not understand. The men, the Pharisees and the religious leaders, they got Offended by his saying, it is written that many of his disciples also, the people who were following him, it's not talking about the 12 chosen disciples, but many others who had started following him, who were really attracted to him by the miracles he did and especially by feeding of the 5,000 men, suddenly they get offended and they leave him and they are not able to take the statement where he says, I am the bread of life. Whoever eats me, the bread, this bread is my flesh, which I give for the life of the world. And he says in verse 58, this is the bread that came down from heaven. Your ancestors ate manna and died. But whoever feeds on this bread will live forever. And this is how he makes the first I am statement which tells us that he is the heavenly bread, that some, the one who came from heaven through whom we have eternal life. The second statement that Jesus makes about himself, the I am statement that he makes is, I am the light of the world. This we see in John chapter 8 and it is seen in verse 12. Here Jesus is saying, when Jesus spoke again to the dis, uh, people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. And here Jesus is calling himself the light. We all know that sin brings darkness and God is that light that dispels darkness. Anytime if there is darkness around and suppose there is no electricity at home, there's a power cut and there is darkness all around, even a small candle that is lit will just dispel the darkness. 
darkness and light cannot stay together the moment light comes darkness has to go and that is what jesus is talking over here he is that light that removes the darkness or dispels the darkness of sin from our life and he shows that i am the one and over here when he says this it is not received well and the pharisees go on to say that you are making you are making a statement about yourself you are giving a testimony about yourself but jesus clearly says my testimony is true because it comes from the father and also if we see what are the characteristics of light what does the light do of course as we said it dispels darkness but again there are some characteristics more than that of course it dispels darkness second it reveals suppose it is dark we don't see where we are going we don't see if there is an obstacle in front of us but when there is light we see clearly we see better and that is exactly what the light of god does it helps us to see ourselves our own mistakes however because jesus is the light he will just remove those sins from our life and he makes us clean he makes us pure he helps us to see ourselves the true way in which we are and apart from this the la- the light it is not partial it is impartial that means the sun shines on the good and the bad the sun shines on the poor and the rich Jesus was someone who did not come for the chosen few. He did not even come only for the Jews. He came for that's where he says, "I am the light of the world." And here the statement that he uses is, "I am the light." He did not say, "I am a light." That the word the over there, the article the clearly tells us that he is the only and he is the specific source of light or specific source of eternal life it is very clearly revealed over there that he is that specific and solitary source of light in human mankind or in amongst the human beings so this was the second statement that jesus made about being the light of the world the third i am statement that jesus makes is where he says i am the door this we can see in john chapter 10 over here jesus is talking about uh, he is giving a parable of the sheep he is giving how uh, talking of the sheep the shepherd and then he is making different statements over here he makes two i am statements If we see the chapter 10 from the beginning he says Jesus is saying very very verily uh, very truly i tell you pharisees anyone who does not enter the sheep pen by the gate but climbs in by some other way is a thief and a robber over here he is telling that the shepherd will not come by any other way but he will come by the gate or by the door and the shepherd he goes on if we read over here he goes on to tell that the shepherd knows his sheep he knows them by name he says that the sheep recognize his voice and when they hear him they follow him so these are the things that he is telling about the sheep and the shepherd i just want to tell you a little more about the sheep pens that were there in those days the sheep pen had a wall around it and usually this wall was high enough for so that the sheep could not jump out so that other wild animals which would come to prey on the sheep would not get inside so it protected the sheep and it had a small entrance or a small gate and the sheep would go out through this gate through this door or we can call it the gate and the sheep many a times for the protection or the security or guarding the sheep they would keep a gate keeper so 
in some occasions the gatekeeper would just lie down and sleep in front of the gate so that he would become a barrier so that the sheep would not step out or any other wild animal could not enter in without him knowing it so this is the background to the things that jesus is speaking over here and over here in john chapter 10 verse 7 jesus is saying therefore jesus said again very truly i tell you i am the gate for the sheep all who have come before me are thieves and robbers but the sheep have not listened to them i am the gate whoever enters through me will be saved they will come in and go out and find pasture the thief comes to steal and to kill and destroy i have come that they may have life and have life and have it to the full over here jesus declares he is the gate he is the gate to eternal life here he is very clearly declaring himself that there is salvation only through him he is saying it in um, uh, in a relationship between the sheep and the shepherd and over here he says i am that gate that small gate through which the sheep used to go out or the sheep used to come in and that's how we can have eternal life and as we go further in this chapter itself the, the very next verse in verse 11 jesus says he makes the fourth i am statement which is mentioned in john the gospel of john over here jesus is saying i am the good shepherd the good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep the hired hand is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep so when he sees the wolf coming he abandons the sheep and runs away then the wolf attacks the flock and scatters it the man runs away because he is a hired hand and cares nothing about the sheep he is very clearly saying that i am the good shepherd not like those hired servants who just take the sheep around but when they see danger when the life of the sheep is in danger they abandon the sheep and run away rather i am the good shepherd and here he is going on to explain i in verse 14 again he repeats i am the good shepherd i know my sheep and my sheep knows me the word that he said before that the sheep knows the voice of the shepherd and he says i am that good shepherd and my sheep know my voice just as the father knows me and i know the father and i lay down my life for the sheep over here jesus is telling about his death on the cross of calvary how he will lay down his life for the people for the salvation of mankind and he goes on to say in verse 16 i have other sheep that are not of this pen of this sheep pen i must bring them also they too will listen to my voice and there shall they there shall be one flock and one shepherd so here jesus is saying about sh other sheep which are not of this pen he is talking about the she, the other sheep means the Gentiles, those who will believe. You and me who believe in Jesus, who listen to his voice, we are his sheep and he is our good shepherd. If we accept him, if we receive him, he has laid down his life on the cross of Calvary like that good shepherd when the enemy, the wolf, Satan wanted to attack and devour us. Jesus, the good shepherd, he laid down his life on the cross of Calvary for, for our salvation so that we would have that eternal life. And therefore, as I shared with you, there are totally seven I am statements, but today we saw four. First, Jesus said, I am the bread of life. Then Jesus said, I am the light of the world. The third, Jesus said, I am the gate or I am the door. And fourthly, he said, I am the good shepherd. I pray that this good shepherd would be your good shepherd. You would be his sheep. He knows you by name. You would let his light shine into your life. You would receive him 
as the bread of life who gives eternal life and in him enter into that eternal life. Let us pray. Loving Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you and praise you for this time. Thank you for the word that you have shared, oh God. Lord, Jesus, we just thank you. For you are the bread of life. You are the light of the world. You are the door or you are the gate master and you are the good shepherd. We put our trust in you. Everyone who is hearing the word this day, may they be blessed. May they be challenged to take you as their I am master as their God, as their Savior. Thank you, Jesus. Minister to each one, whatever their needs, healing, breakthroughs, Lord Jesus, would you bring it into their lives. Bless them. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. May the good Lord bless you. Have a good week. Have a good day. God bless you.